so the, the Vandals are, perf- are performing at the upcoming 2015 Soundwave Festivals here in Australia. You last played here in 2013, which was also Soundwave Festival. And uh, prior to that, you actually supported Pennywise here in 2008. What can uh, Australian fans of the Vandals expect from the shows in the way of uh, material you're going to be playing? Uh, we, we are we are in the works. What is in the works? We definitely have one song already tracked and done, and will be available on the sampler uh, for download. Uh, an Australian song that we were uh, that we are quite, actually large fans of. It's it's sung by the football player, um, Jocko. That name? How you say it? Jocko, right? Uh, I, I know him as a musician. <laughs> uh, it's called I'm an individual. Uh, I'm an individual. Uh, it's an Australian song. It was. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, Jack. Yep, yep. I know the one. Yep. Yes, and so uh, I heard that and saw the video, and I went, "I go, this is I don't this is not punk, but it, this is by all definitions like it has all the punk elements." I said, "This this will this is a punk song other than not presenting itself as a punk song." Yes, because it's funny and it's so absurd. So, and it says <laughs> in the bloody visual that makes me laugh every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quite old that song. Like, that must be close to thirty years ago. As are we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's actually. Uh, and, you know, we're doing it in the, uh, from 1985, I believe, and we're doing it in the style of a 1979 punk rock approach. So yep. it's a very acronymistic kind of thing that we got going on with this. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't be that confusing. We can just appreciate it because it's so in the bloody visual. Yeah. <laughs> so um, mm-hmm. you guys haven't released a studio album for um, 11 years since 2004, Hollywood Potato Chip. That's a that's a pretty long time between albums. What um what's in the pipelines? Anything in the pipeline for a new album in the near future? Um, I think we're about halfway done. We've been working on a record the whole time, so we're about halfway done. So we have you know three songs. Okay, no, we, we have anything done. Uh, but yeah, we're going to. It would be funny that we've been working for twelve years, and it's just going to be such a masterpiece that we've we put out that we call it Bidmanship. Yeah, um, we plan to have a record. Hopefully, that's what we, we have an Australian EP. We have songs about Australia. That's been actually the most, that's the thing that's brought us together in the studio for the first time in a long time. It's yeah. saying, we're going to do stuff about Australia. That's what, that's the goal. Let's yeah. bond over that, people. No worries. No worries. So, um, just, just recently. Yeah, that's one of the songs, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, just recently, <laughs> Say 10 Records and Skateboards uh, are releasing a Vandal skateboard deck. Can you talk us through how this all came about? Uh, you know, it's funny because th- it, this day and age, like how how that stuff works, it's like uh, all these crazy, like you know, you can get like I think you can get like a Hello Kitty like Big Mac or something like that. It's crazy, like <laughs> these co-op kind of things. I don't know who. Did. So and you know, you can just you can get a three D printer to print it out. I guess. So uh, to my understanding, we, we that was those were one of the earlier skateboards. Like that's probably almost like a you know like a remake of. I don't skateboard because I'm clumsy and I you know, just I can play guitar, I can skateboard. I do one or the other because I would definitely break my wrist. <laughs> and and I'm lazy. So yeah. <laughs> and but it, it looks cool. Got, it's got the whole thing and uh, I do, I have one actually. I don't know how to put the wheels on. That's what I gotta figure out. <laughs> I'll have to go. T- I'll just put it on snow or something. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, use it as a snowboard. Definitely. Um, you you joined the band in 1989 after being in bands such as Oingo Boingo and Doggy Style. How did you end up being in the Vandals? Uh, well, actually, me and Dave, the singer, um, uh, we were friends because I was in a band in like yeah, like '88 or so, and I would just wear a dinosaur outfit. Like that was just my thing. <laughs> like I wanted to dress up like a dinosaur. Yeah. And so apparently he liked that because he's like, we ended up being like, like yeah, like your dinosaur. You know, that's up. We're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll be friends. And it's. <laughs> Yeah. But a year later, uh, their guitar player left, and and so yeah, they got the guy with the dinosaur outfit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, okay. <laughs> you, you, yourself and Joe started uh, Kung Fu Records uh, back in 1996. Um, what what was the story behind wanting to start a record label? Uh, it, it was probably the just the in, enormous amount of success. Uh, you know, at least in that kind of uh, between Epitaph and. Uh, Fat records and stuff. The people that we've known forever, also Fat Mike and all the, the, you know, all bad religion people and stuff. And going, yeah. wow, they're kind of like, they're actually like, um, that's crazy because it was just insane because it, it blew up at that in the mid nineties and it kind of had the whole 
thing. Like we like we kind of have to start one. We don't want to, but I guess we have yeah. to. You know, and uh, and of course, you know, we've regretted it ever since. But you know, hey, we we tried, or we we kind of tried, and that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, in in two thousand and four. Yeah. Not... Sorry, you go. Oh, I'm just not good at selling things, so that's probably why. <laughs> the <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in in 2004, the Vandals played uh, for U.S. troops in Iraq, and then in 2006, uh, you played for U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Um, many fans didn't yeah, approve of, of you playing these shows. Can you talk us through the shows and the subsequent positive and negative feedback? Yeah. It's interesting because it, it is one of those things where, like, um, like many, like I would say, yeah, there's many, like in the sense that there was um, like a mob that wanted to lynch us in Athens. Yeah. Because somehow we're advocating the war in their mindset. And not to mention that, you know, while we're out there, like Henry Rollins out there and like all sorts of, you know, it's it's not a political thing. It's yeah. not, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the, you know, the kids getting sent out there. You know? Yeah. They, they joined up, they went to the school paid for and they're stuck in, you know, the middle of war zone. Yeah. So it was not like, oh, hey, this is great. Let's have some more wars so we can get some more gigs. It's just insane that, that the reaction, the far reaction on that was like, the, Head scratching to me, still is. Yeah, but, I can't stand because it, about the people there. You know, there's Aussies there. Was, everyone was there. Yeah, <laughs> a big part, not a party, but yeah, everyone was there. Yeah, no, I would have been quite a few bands there. Um, are there any other bands on the 2015 Soundwave Festival bill that you you're keen to play alongside with or just catch up with? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, Aquabats, I've actually I've worked on the uh, they do music on their and writing for the TV show. So yeah, um, I see them. You know that that that'll be nice to see them. Uh, you know, we can take some selfies together with the toilet flushing the other way. That'd be great. And people yeah. believe us. I mean, because we do a lot of TV show stuff where they don't believe we go to places. That yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. They use their blue screens and CGI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any other so um... proof of of the. Yeah. Any other bands on on the oh, bill? That... Bands that... I'm, there's so many bands. It's funny. Every time I hear the list, I'm like, oh, they're on. And by the time it listens, I'm like, wait, who did you say? It's like a, one of them is a, like Soundgarden on there and yep. Marilyn Manson, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, there, there's yeah, there's yeah. a lot of, I mean, I know, I, we don't know them actually. It's weird. But most of the bands, a lot of bands, we I'm surprised we actually don't know those bands. Yeah, okay. It's, it's an interesting it's mix of bands at Soundwave Festival. There's, um, you know, metal, rock, punk. There's hardcore. There was also. It's a really uh, interesting mix. Yeah, the, the last time it was there, it was like it was pretty rad because it was like you had Blink and then Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> if there was ever more of a contrast as far as like just the general vibe, just without even sound, like yeah. like just watch them. It was fucking crazy. We're like, yeah. oh my god. Blink are such pussies, and Slayer are such badasses. Like, <laughs> how is it possible? <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like showing up in a ballerina outfit at a biker bar. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's a good way of describing it. <laughs> so <I'll... laughs> that's usually how I describe them. Yeah, they, they appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are we? Li- all too, so yeah. Yeah, so. Are we likely to find you side of stage watching uh, Slipknot? But you know what, Slipknot? I, I have see what I like about Slipknot is that. I, like it's kind of like they're 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 going they're, they're really going for it in the sense that like okay yeah we're wearing scary outfits and that's what we are yeah like think how maybe Devo was like like or the like some artsy band like you don't even know who they are it's just like this is a movement or something it's, it's something additionally creepy and anonymous about it that I'll give them points for definitely okay <laughs> I like fucked up music I like loud noise music that's great I like soft music you know if it's and almost say anything funny because they they they're hilarious to me. Yeah, yeah, no, they're an amazing live band, Slipknot. Um, the the one the one question that a lot of fans want to know: um, Are you guys playing any of your own sidewave shows while you're here? Uh, that, that's one of the things that's like, I, I, had I I should know that, but I'm, I imagine there would be. There was last time. I think they actually, I think it's like a day or two shorter than the previous trip. But yeah. we did all our shows with, with Blink on the off days. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much in the same cities, just different venues. So I, 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 I imagine it's. I, I think we're expecting that. I just, as far as who we were even playing with them and what days they are, I have no idea. Okay, okay. Actually, I'm thinking about. I don't know what day it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Well, um, that that pretty much wraps it up, mate. Thanks, thanks so much for talking with our uh, maximum volume today, Warren. And uh, we'll be seeing you at maximum the Soundwave Festival.
Fantastic. Uh, 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 no worries. 